Hello everybody, welcome to the Get Authentic with Marcus show. I'm your host, Marcus Ogden. I am a current national, international keynote speaker, executive coach, best-selling author, consultant, podcast host, and I'm also a former NFL athlete. We're going to talk about in this podcast, the real authentic stories behind real authentic people. But before we get into the content about the show and who we're going to be interviewing, types of people, all that kind of great stuff, let's talk about that main word, authentic slash authenticity. To me, authenticity means the innate ability to be real, honest, and open with people, no matter how they might look at you and or judge you. Now, let's be real or authentic. In the real world, people sometimes are afraid to talk about who they are, their failures, their struggles, their adversities. Now, why do you think that is? To me, I think society puts so much pressure on people to always be the best, look the best, have the flashiest car, have the biggest house, have the private jets, all those things that I call external motivating factors. It's so important in life to focus on who you really are as a person. Who is the real you? Who is the real authentic person behind the mask? That's what really has to shine through. And in this podcast, we're going to really be delving into that. We're going to be talking to people who are retired athletes, current athletes, people that work in corporate, non for profit, all types of corporate technology, real estate, realtors, mortgage people. The only main thing behind all of our guests is that they are, they are amazing people with amazing stories. Again, the main thing behind all of our guests is they are amazing people with amazing stories. Now, since you may or may not know me, let me tell you my story, okay? My authentic, real story. Because if you're gonna listen to this podcast now into the future, I think it's very important that you know who I am, where I'm from, and there's a part of my life where I wasn't living authentic. I wasn't living a real, what I call, character issue life. Character issue life were things like honesty, trust, loyalty, dependability. There was a time in my life where I was living by what we call the personality traits. Things like rage, wrath, deceit, jealousy. Because I was so focused on what I call external motivating factors, money, fame, notoriety. And because I chased that what we call unauthentic life, I ended up crashing and burning and losing everything I owned in 2013. Let's back up. So again, my name is Marcus Ogden. I'm from Washington, D.C., I went to St. John's College High School, which is the same high school that Kevin Plank, who owns Under Armour, went to. I got one scholarship offer to play football at the Howard University. Now, my brother, Jonathan Ogden, who is a first ballot NFL Hall of Famer, he had every Division I-A school offer him a full scholarship to go and play football. Me, I took my offer went to Howard University, the same school that my father went to and played football at. And I had a really successful career playing football for the Bison. I was very fortunate to get drafted into the National Football League by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jack Del Rio was my rookie head coach. Now, you talk about authenticity. You talk about us being real. Jack Del Rio told our entire rookie class in 2003, he said, gentlemen, if you want to be successful in life, you have to be your own CEO. 
your own chief executive officer. And I remember asking coach Del Rio, hey coach, what do you mean by that? He said, Marcus, you work for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Absolutely. We have your money. We pay your check. You work for us. That's no doubt about that, right? But here's the thing. I can tell you what time to be here for breakfast, what time to leave the facility when practice is over. But I can't tell you what time to get here early to work on your craft. I can't tell you what time to stay until after practice to work on your craft. I can't do that. Only you can. I can't tell you, go on to the Jacksonville Jaguar community and build a real, authentic relationship with the Jacksonville Jaguar fan base to help improve more people coming to the games. I can't tell you to do that. But when you're your own CEO and you're living a life that's best for you, you can do that. You can be authentic. You can call your own shots. You can be your own CEO in life. And when you do that, you put yourself in the best position to succeed. Without a doubt, that was the best advice that I ever got playing in the National Football League. I played for almost six years. I got out. And again, let's be real. I struggled immensely for six months with alcoholism, painkiller addiction, knife light, gambling, anything and everything bad. I really was in a really horrible position in my life. After about six months, I put the bottle down and I built Caden Premier Enterprises. We became the largest African-American subcontractor in the city of Baltimore and the state of Maryland for two years. We were crushing it. We were killing it. But again, the show is called Get Authentic with Marcus. So I'm going to be real like I always am with everybody I tell my story to. As the company grew, so did my ego. So did my bravado. I became so focused on, again, money, fame, notoriety. My ego, which I have an acronym for ego, exaggerated, glorified opinions. I constantly exaggerated how good I was at construction, aka I was lying to people and lying to myself. That's not authentic. Glorified. I was always chasing the glory. Wanted my name in the paper. All about me, me, me. Not my team, not my partner, me. That's not authentic. You shouldn't live your life like that. And then opinions. I constantly was always wanting to have the last word. Marcus, we should try this, this, and this. Oh, that sounds good, but how about we try it this way? This, this, and this. That's how I lived my life. Now, I'm here to tell you right now, authentic and real, I was in a really negative place. I had money. I had all the things that didn't matter. And soon enough, as I realized how bad I was living my life, boom, it crashed and burned. In 2012, my ego got so big that my best employees left the organization. From there, I ended up going into a job with a client and I spent about $2.5 to $3 million over budget. And I did that and when it came time to get paid back that change order money that I thought was going to be extra and get paid back to me, the developer and the contractor denied my change order, the bank shut me off, and I lost everything. My home foreclosed on. Both cars repossessed in the same day. Not same month, not same week, same day. I ended up moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. I had $400 left to my name. 
when I got down here to Raleigh was working a job for Merrill Lynch. And again, let's be real. I was fired after two months because everything I was doing was wrong. I was all about trying to go out and make sales, all about trying to make more money. I didn't do a good job of getting educated, learning how to build myself in the business. I was fired, all my fault. Went to a construction company the next day, fired from that job five days later. The only job I could get was a custodian working for $8.25 an hour on the graveyard shift from 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. I was working to support my family. And again, let's be real. At this time, I still blame everybody else for my failures, my employees, my partner, the client, the bank. And see, ladies and gentlemen, that is the whole purpose of our show. Everyone that is successful, I believe, has gone through a trial, a tribulation, something to make them who they are today. In so many podcasts, I feel all about the success of people, what they've accomplished. And again, that's great. And you should highlight that. Absolutely. But what makes our show different, what is the unique selling proposition for our show is we're all about the authentic, real stories behind the people we are interviewing. And again, we're going to interview some phenomenal people. Again, athletes, business owners, executives, you name it, all across the board. But every person that we interview, we want the real authentic story behind all they had to go through to get where they are today. There's a saying that I live by. Do the things you hate to get the things you want. Again, do the things you hate to get the things you want. And again, we're going to share these stories. Now, back to my story. I was working for $8.25 an hour, still blaming everybody under the sun except myself. And what happened was I had my rock bottom moment of clarity with somebody's rotten trash, spoiled, nasty milk and meat got all over my body, my skin, and my clothes. That was my wake up call. I went home and I said, hmm, what am I good at? And again, let's be real. If you're listening to this episode, our intro episode right now, if you are struggling, if you're having a hard time, if things are difficult, and again, we are in a time right now, 2022, June, that things aren't the best. The economy is tough. Increase in gas, increase in food, increase in expenses, The pay is not coming out on the same side as the expenses. Yes, I understand. Yes, I get it. But if you're struggling right now, take a moment, stop, and write down the three biggest strengths you possess. And again, let's be real. Society teaches us to think about what we don't do well first. Then come around to what we do do well. I think the opposite. I'm like, hey, I tell my clients all the time, what do you do well? What are your three biggest strengths, three biggest assets? Write those down and then build from there the future you want. Or what I call it, create your breakthrough result and create your breakthrough story. That's what I did. I said, I'm good at speaking, I'm good at communication, and I want to help people. And that was my breakthrough result, which I said, let's go ahead and be a keynote speaker. But again, we're going to be real. The reason I wanted to be a speaker at that time was to make money. Going back to what? 
external motivating factors, money, fame, notoriety. I was all about speaking for all the wrong reasons. Finally, in April 2016, we got our first paid job and I then got coached. I learned how to be authentic. The law of authenticity states the best gift that we have to give is ourselves. Again, one more time. The law of authenticity states the best gift that we have to give is ourselves. And then I start to live my life by the law of value, which states your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. And again, that is what the Let's Get Authentic with Marcus show is all about. Get Authentic with Marcus is all about giving you, the listeners, that value, that information, those steps you can take in your life, equipping you with tools in your toolbox to do what? Go and create the life you want. So after getting coached and getting mentored and learning how to be authentic, learning how to get value, our brand in the last six years has spoken for 38 Fortune 500 brands as a speaker. 38. We are so blessed to have great clients, a great team, great processes, great systems, and that's exactly why we are launching this podcast. This podcast is designed for anyone that wants to hear real authentic stories of real authentic people to take information, to take knowledge, and do what? A sin in your life. Now, again, let's be a little bit more specific the type of guests we're going to have. We're going to have retired NFL athletes. Been very fortunate to grow a really great database of NFL brotherhood. We're going to have retired NBA athletes on the show, retired MLB, retired NHL, current NFL athletes and NBA and NHL and MLB. We're also going to have as guests Great executives that work in Fortune 500, 100, and maybe even 25 companies on our show. We're going to have business owners, entrepreneurs who are successful on our show. We're going to have people from all different types of industries. Again, real estate, mortgages, technology, authors, speakers, consultants, you know, restaurant owners, you name it, we're going to have it. Because again, ladies and gentlemen, we believe that diversity, equity, and inclusion is the key to success in life. And we want people from diverse backgrounds, experiences, all coming together to do what? Help educate, help equip our audience to do what? succeed in their life. Now, as our first upcoming guest for episode number one, it's going to be my great friend, NFL 15-year veteran quarterback, Gus Farrakh. Went to Tulsa University. He was drafted to the Washington Redskins, aka the Washington Commanders now, in 1994. He is a great friend of mine, great client, but Gus has a real authentic story. Imagine this, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine being drafted as a quarterback in the seventh round. And in that same year, the team that drafted me drafted a first round draft pick in the top five at your position. Think about that. Gus came to the NFL with an already uphill battle. He was drafted behind their first round draft pick. He was a seventh rounder, but Gus had adversity. Excuse me. Gus had, he, Gus went through adversity. Gus 
put himself in the best position. Gus continued to fight the uphill battle, and Gus ended up becoming a starter for the Washington Redskins, and Gus had a 15-year NFL career as a quarterback. Now, that's an authentic story. That's somebody that I know can help educate me through his experiences. Gus is also very successful in business, married, has three beautiful children, and he is just a really great guy. So episode one, we're going to be interviewing my good friend and buddy, Gus Ferrant, on our show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just so excited for you to follow us on our journey of this podcast, Get Authentic with Marcus. We're just so excited to share some of the amazing people's stories, their triumphs, their tribulations, what they've gone through, what they've overcome to get where they are today. So again, we look forward to having you join us next week, episode number one. My good friend, Gus Barak, will be appearing on the Get Authentic with Marcus show. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.